Hey friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. Today I'm working on a water leak on this tra trailer. And I originally thought it was going to be inside the trailer, inside the wall in the bathroom. I didn't look forward to tearing the fixtures out and the walls apart to fix a leak. Fortunately, we found the leak that was on the, underneath the trailer. And I'm going to show you how it was easy to find and fix and low cost. Let's get started. You know, what I found was um, the line was leaking from underneath and I reached up and just touched this PEX end fitting. They, they capped it off two, two lines and it just broke right off. And what that is is the, the line is sticking through the bottom of the, of the trailer and the part that's exposed, what happens to PEX when it's exposed to sunlight is it crystallizes and hardens and cracks. Even though this is not getting direct sunlight, the this trailer is 20 years old and just by the reflection of the light coming off of concrete and uh, that kind of thing will um, get a, uh, enough UV uh, exposure over a 20 year period that that PEX will crystallize and break off and it's exactly what happened. It cracked first, had a leak and as soon as I touched it, it just broke right off. And the other one is going to be the same but it wasn't leaking but I'm, I'm going to replace both of them. And the problem is I'm going to have to cut this up all the way above where the UV exposure. I took the putty out that was right here and uh, we'll have to cut the line off way up here just to get good material that's not crystallized. In order to uh, put a cap on there, I can't use a, a regular PEX crimper uh, with the uh, stainless steel uh, crimp rings. Uh, because I can't get my tool up in there, so I'm going to use the uh, Shark Bite uh, push on in terminators. They uh, are more expensive, but they're easy to use. But what we have to do is we have to cut this off clean up here and steel wool the outside very lightly. Don't take off material, but get rid of all the debris buildup. And also the inside line is got a lot of green algae and buildup and that has to be cleaned out as well because a shark bite inserts inside the pipe and makes uh, an outside connection as well. So the inside and outside both have to be clean. And so we'll be doing that and I'll uh, show you the process as we go. I got the uh, pecs cut off. Uh, you can use a hacksaw. I use a cutting wheel, but you can use a hacksaw. Uh, I do recommend though after you cut it to check the outside edge for uh, burrs. Just take a small file, deburr the outside edge to make sure that there's no burrs. And I took steel wool, polished the outside, cleaned the inside, and we're ready to slip on the uh, shark bites. Okay, I got the uh, end stops pushed on. It's a simple push. Don't have to push too hard. They slip right on when they're clean and a uh, good fit with uh, deburring. I got the water turned back on and leak is stopped. So problem solved for about $15 and about a half hour's worth of labor. Now I'm just gonna let this all dry out, this opening here. I'm gonna try to dry out the inside as much best I can and just let the, hopefully we don't have any rot. Later on, I'll go ahead and plug up this hole with some putty or some uh, something to keep the critters out. But uh, job done and I hope this helped you. Have a blessed day. I sure hope you enjoyed this video and it was a help to you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also hit that notification bell to be notified of weekly videos. I pray that you are blessed and that you know him who is the author of life.